Hey boys, welcome back to some more international matches here. Fiji up against Wales in round two of this World Cup. I'm pretty sure it is the World Cup. I know I talked about it last episode as well, but um, yeah, it's uh, I think it's pretty much the uh, the World Cup. We got all the World Cup banners around the stadium, so makes sense. But uh, take on yeah, Wales. Matt Seamark there from uh, Queensland Cup. I think he's, I don't know where he is now, Ben Flower, I think, uh, was Ben Flower the one that punched uh, Lance Ohio, Lance Ohio, how do you say his last name, dude, <laughs> Lance Ohio, <laughs> something like that, dude, it's very, it's, when you see it on paper, it's not bad, but then when you try to say it, it's very strange, but was Ben Flower the one that punched him on the ground, it was a big, big bit of drama, potentially, maybe not, I think he's, uh, it, it rings a bell, regardless. But uh, yeah, like I said, round two, uh, first round against uh, against America. It was it was an okay game. I felt like we were pretty good. Uh, the the scoreline didn't really reflect that amazing play. I guess you know we only won by six points. I think in the end, which probably isn't the best. As a beautiful play here, Vela Kepa, who is in for um, who is out? Is it Montoya? I think Montoya is out, but that was a beautiful play. Vela Kepa is a, is a pretty handy player in his own right. Um, very, very quality outside back playing in the Queensland Cup. But um, I think that's our only change. I think it's I think it's Montoya. Because who, who was our other center? We'll see. Oh, yeah. Wanga Blake is the other center. It's beautiful ball. Regan Campbell-Gillard. We're looking pretty good, dude. But yeah, like I was gonna say, we uh we look pretty good in that that first round, but obviously a bit rusty. Getting the boys together, it's a new combination, a lot of new faces uh, in this Fijian lineup. So had to had to sort the kinks out, and we um you know we should be better for the run, and we get another fairly easy encounter here against Wales. So hopefully we can uh, we can put a few points on and. And showcase a little bit of that Fijian brilliance, brilliance and uh, and flair. So it would be good to see. Good little kick here. Ben Jones is going to pick it up, and he's going to get trapped. Big uh, Corbin Sims makes a makes a good tackle as we look to attack this blindside kick out. <laughs> the big fella kick out got stopped uh, stopped there. Pretty uh, pretty unlikely in all honesty. As we switch the play again, we're looking. A little bit frantic in attack here. We're, we're wanting to score. We're probably being a little bit impatient with uh, with our play at the minute. But a good little uh, set play here for a kick off to uh, Kevin Igarma. It's a bit of a bit of a shocker though. And uh, Evans is going to race away here. The, the winger for Wales. We are not going to catch him. Appy and Lovadua is uh, just giving it his all. But uh, Evans is going to uh, race away. Not the player we wanted to see the ball with in open pasture. And all of a sudden, for all our, for all our dominance, Wales are going to go up by six points to nil. 20 odd minutes in. Not uh, not a good start at all. <laughs> not a good start. It's a good kick there. Kevin Iguama did, uh, did a good job to get across to it. And then all of a sudden, turns the fence into attack. Iguama is going to race the length of the field. So... A couple of solo efforts here for both sides. It was it was a good kick too. Can't fault the kick. It was uh, it was headed for a 40-20, but uh, Naguama there scooted across and just turned them inside out. It was uh, it was brilliant play from uh, from the fullback, and uh, you know it's good to, it's good to hit back. It's a beautiful ball off the kickoff here. Campbell Gillard just shrugging through of tacklers. Gets the ball onto Yuate. And Yuate is just going to shrug through of the center. And Evans is not going to... He's coming quick. Jeez. Evans is absolutely lightning, dude. He, he put on his speed boost at the end there. I thought he was going to get to him. But uh, Yuate... So, yeah, we're, uh, we're scoring length of the field efforts there. That was off the kickoff. It was a beautiful ball to Campbell Gillard. And then Campbell Gillard just absolutely just monstered the defensive line. And get a nice ball onto our our wingman. As this time it's going to be Wanga Blake just turns them around. <laughs> our big outside backs are really starting to find some uh, find some room to move again. It was a great ball. I think it was Kennedy got it onto Wanga Blake and Blake got on the outside of his man, burned the fullback and just just scored an absolute beauty. That was a that was a nice try. And uh, he's probably. 
he probably is our, our go-to man, Wanga Blake. He is very, very good on this game. I didn't realize how, how good he was, honestly. It's a beautiful inside play onto Nagama, and he is going to brush through of the fullback again. That was, again, it, it's a long field effort. Um, long field effort, but what a, what a bit of play. That was a great little inside ball. Just... It was great work by the halfback. He drew in a couple of defenders. A huge, a huge yawning gap there. And it was just shut the gates from there. Obviously, we're breaking through of tacklers pretty comfortably here. Wales, you know, the Wales players aren't rated as good as ours. You probably, you might be watching and being like, how are you breaking through so many tackles? But, you know, the, the ratings for the players are definitely a bit of a, a mix, mixer or a mismatch, I should say. So, you know, it's, it's obviously easier to break a tackle with uh with lesser ranked players as again Nagwamu is just having an absolute stellar performance and this man Wanga Blake also is uh is having a feast out here this was <laughs> a good defensive set uh and then not a great kick but Nagama just just found a little bit of a hole went straight through and then just a beautiful ball onto Wanga Blake didn't even I don't think we even got touched in that uh, little bit of play. So all of a sudden, just 30 points to 6. They were, The Wales were winning 6-0 at like 25 minutes. As now Appy Corris out at dummy half. He's just going to burn them again here. I put, <laughs> I put in the little chip and chase. It looks, it looks funny because sometimes the game is a bit weird like that. When you kick the ball, all the defensive line just sort of move away from the, the player for some reason. But I saw... Out of the corner of my eye, I saw, like, the winger come across, and I thought he was going to, like, try to make the tackle, so I was going to put in the kick over his head, but then he just went away and <laughs> made the kick look silly, but, um, Corsair getting into the action. This is, this is dominance. 36 to 6. I... <laughs> It feels good, dude. It feels good to put on some points. Unfortunately, Matt Seamark, the, uh... The halfback there is going to score their second try with some uh, some poor defense. You know, we gifted the ball over. We pretty much, this second half, I think that was the first time Wales had touched the, the footy. Um, we were just controlling it. But right there, we gave them possession and just, just shot up out of the line. I was trying to stop the play as they got pink for a forward pass. A little bit unlucky there. Um, poor old Wales, they're, uh, they're struggling. So, you know, calls like that against you is a bit of a... Bit of a killer, um, let's say that is Naguama again crabbing crossfield gets the ball. Vela Kepe there gets taken down. So I thought for a second there when we were 36 to six that 50 could be on the cards again. Look at the play. Who is this man out here? It's uh, I think it's Tarek Sims who was dishing off this unbelievable service to uh to Wanga Blake just drawing in the center. This, this right side or their left side defensive edge is having a little bit of strife out here. They're, they're coming in, they're jamming, they're, they're holding off. It's uh, it's a bit of shambles and we're just exploiting that with, with just great play. And Wanga Blake is just having an absolute field day. That's his hat trick and uh, could uh, could be more, honestly, the way we're playing. is Now, Nakwama again gets through, puts in a little chip and chase. Unfortunately, he was just held back slightly so he couldn't regather Um. But now 50, 50 is back on the cards, honestly. I was just about to say before that it got to 36-12. 50 is probably off the off the cards, but uh, we're coming back here. It's going to be white, just picking up a scrappy, a little loose ball there. Not bad play from Wales, actually, and uh, getting a penalty as well. So 40-12, to 12, we don't... You know, this is a good little tester for us. We'd love to just hold them out here. Obviously, our attack has been just scintillating, but we don't want to concede any more points. 12 points already is probably... Yeah, it's probably one try too many, especially, you know, the first try was just a runaway effort. So conceding another one and I'd honestly be a bit disappointed with our defensive effort as uh, a huge shot. Daniel Saifidi just stands his ground on the big fella and just absolutely levels him. That is, I mean, that's what you want to see right there. That is just un unbelievable stuff. Just putting your body on the line and just belting blokes. That's, uh, that's good stuff. It's a beautiful ball. Nakabai there. Nakabuai, Nakabuai. He uh, he got the. That's annoying, dude. I was <laughs> a good chance to score, but they gave a high shot away, and it just ended the game. Like if we got the pass away, we probably score, but you know, can't be too disappointed. Kevin Iguama, man of the match. Him and Wanga Blake just absolutely killed Wales. So hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.